A school in Mexico expelled one of its students for having two dads. The Vatican shut down a gay-themed photo exhibit, and gays are not living in Fort Worth. When we up in the club, all eyes on us. Fort Worth has been working over the past four years to become more LGBT friendly, but that doesn't mean gays are living there. Just because you have, you know, city ordinances and the city's progressive doesn't mean that people who live in that city are progressive. According to census data reported by the Seattle Times, Seattle now has more same-sex households than San Francisco, and Fort Worth nearly has the least. With 0.26% same-sex households, Cowtown is second only to El Paso, which has 0.25%. And I think Fort Worth is accepting. I think they've done a lot of great things. So it is kind of sad to see um, the lower number. A private school in Monterey kicked out a two-year-old girl for having two fathers. The Hills Institute told the men who legally married in Mexico City that if they wanted their daughter to attend the school, they'd have to hide their relationship. They were asking me to give up all of my rights as a parent at the school. When the couple refused, the school locked them out. Now they're looking for an alternative school. The Vatican has shut down a gay-themed photo exhibit. Gonzalo Orkin took photos of two men and two women kissing in various churches in Rome. Orkin says he did the photos to demonstrate a union between God and two people. He says the church threatened the gallery with legal action. For now, the photos are covered up while the lawyers try to work out the dispute.